Jesus Christ, Shibi. <laughs> 98 lamb production. Oh my god. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ. What the hell? You motherfuckers are something else with your little arms race. Jesus. Three and a half million people to point. <laughs> This is why the fighting, for the most part, has been between you guys. Because you you guys are, like, I'm, I can't even keep up with this. What are you motherfuckers doing? Oh, boy. Oh, you my do God. The same thing. I didn't do the same thing. You're not bothering one of us, really. I, in a way, I kind of am, but this is excessive. Say that to China. <laughs> you don't have to follow his production. <laughs> If you weren't so eager to be number one and stay ahead of everybody militarily, you know you'd probably have more cooperation because then we'd have to take someone else down or you guys would have to take me down a peg. But I can't even keep up with you motherfuckers. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck what I said about 1960 about China being like on par with everybody else. You guys are going to have, have surpassed me in every way except for Navy by 1960, with all your production. Jesus Christ! How many ships do you actually have, Russ? If you want to say. Enough. A lot of my bar comes from my ships, I'll say that much. Alright, you keep your That's the months. one thing. That and probably air. But I, I don't have air over you, it's just that it's placed in a different region. But ship-wise, like, the Navy is the one thing I have over you guys. You have this massive Air Force. She be staying ahead with land production constantly. Also, looking at the map, I realize, um, she be is just surrounded by you now. Not on the south. Well, yeah, there's North Vietnam, but... For the most part, the direct expansion areas are gone. Alright, let's get more hydro building. We need to build more hydro. Keep up the expansion of hydro. Necessary or not. I'm not even gonna make a lot of it efficient. That could come later if I actually ever need to do it. For now, literally just expanding hydro production anywhere I can. Well, if there's other resources on the hex, I am in some ways prioritizing those other resources on the hex as opposed to the actual hydro. Wow, some of this just isn't usable. Stuff along a river can be very, very difficult to use because you need oceanic complexes. I don't even know if you can build hydro on oceanic complexes. Probably not. Look how much of this I can't use. Like, I just went all up the north here, and there was so much of it that was unusable. We're building 79 now, so that's definitely a good little boost. Our economy certainly needs it. We're still building more indie goods than we're using, so I could definitely build some more. And we are running out of areas for it. I want to avoid Louisiana because I feel like this little river has a lot of building points. I'm just trying to build easier to build locations for now. But at this rate, I could actually replace probably everything with hydro at this rate, certainly. Although I would need hundreds more, and I don't know if I have that much natively, but certainly from places I'm taking over, I could find even more. And if I make it more efficient by spreading my supply better, I've used so much money that my allies like Canada are sending me money. Well, fucking Canada's rich. My allies are generally pretty rich, and most of them have no debt, so I'm fine with taking this money from them. Better in my hands than theirs, anyway. Hey, are we good? We all, we all good? No, I think I got my dick caught in the fan. Uh-oh. Man, what did I tell you about trying to fuck the fan? What the fuck Blow did you tell right? me? What the fuck told did you. you tell me? I told you it was a bad idea. Oh, no shit, thanks. <laughs> Independence! Oh, I did not expect that to be right now. What the fuck? No. That's not the historical date at all. Oh, I see. Oh, I see. I see why. Because this isn't Malaysia. This is a different country, technically. It's Malaya. There is a difference. Ha ha. Cool. The funny thing is, I asked you about that date, and you said, No, it's not 57. It's... I don't it's, know what. It's not. Malaysia is not 57. Malaya is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Malaysia comes later. So, I think you two need to come to some kind of agreement on uh, your fucking military production. Because you're at 99 and 98, and this is just going to keep going up. And it's kind of ridiculous. <laughs> you, you, you guys maybe want to just call it like an even 100? 
<laughs> I'm I just like asking. <laughs> That's wrong, Rez. Can't keep up. <laughs> I'm not trying to keep up, but you motherfuckers are going to get so many units that the next war is going to destroy all of humanity, and that if it doesn't just lag out the game before then. I you keep going if you want. I don't... You know what? You got a billion people to kill, but... Jesus fucking Christ. <laughs> Crazy ass motherfuckers. That's all I'm saying. I'm building more production now because I have to keep up with them, at least to some extent. Another island's worth over there, but I'm not going to make a new place for the naval production. I'll just toss it onto one of the other locations that I have it. Could also build some production in Borneo, but Borneo's weird due to the supply situation. I could do with connecting stuff down south, and that would be a thing I could do. Yeah, we have a town down here. We can definitely try to connect here. I can't fucking see anything in a blue jungle. My god. There you go. We have a railroad that will connect this area. That's nice. There's currently some supply here, at least. So that's, yeah, that's something. I think I'll make some production for Borneo as well at this point. I mean, we gotta do something, right? So I'll put one, two on the left and one land on the right. I'll put the naval on the right and the air on the left. That's another island's worth. It will solidify our control in this region and an island of which we will end up taking over eventually anyway. So we could do with another connection over here on this side. This road doesn't extend all the way. It also doesn't need to be a road. I can actually just get rid of all the road right stuff here. Freeze. Place it with rails. Ooh, we're starting to get silo launch missiles. Although these ones don't go far enough for what I want. I might just wait until I can get the Minuteman. I don't know when I'm going to get the Minuteman. It might be here. We need the ICBM capability if we're going to get the Minuteman. I could research the Atlas for now just because it's the longest range thing I have in the meantime. And get producing that. That would be nice. I could definitely do that. Yeah, we'll cap it at 100. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Are you guys actually talking about it? Yeah. We just came into yep. agreement. I'm kind of impressed. I thought you guys would just keep racing. All our military productions, but especially yours, like just dwarf, like NATO at this point. It's it's just so ridiculous. The justification goes real, real slow. Yeah. The best part is there's nothing even there defending it. It's just empty. It's empty and you guys are just getting ready to just bum rush through it. There's probably not even any fucking garrisons. Oh, there's a little bit, but it's really just empty rubber. I can see he's uh, funding insurgencies too. Yeah, I'm not fucking touching that with a 10 foot pole. <laughs> I'm not even about to get in the way of your fucking dual Malaya orgy that you got going on. I feel bad for Nepal and Bhutan. <laughs> <laughs> like, they can't do anything. <laughs> if this was the map in real life, Nepal and Bhutan wouldn't even exist anymore. No, you're right. I think if this was a map in real life, none of us would exist right now. <laughs> I am curious to see the point. I, I don't expect this 100 cap to last. I expect you guys to end up making more. I just want to see what happens to the military goods in the world. Just because of all your production. Oh, we gonna, we gonna suck it dry. <laughs> That's basically what would happen. Yeah, you can tell he's getting ready for war. Because it's at his boss. <laughs> yeah, it's starting to go up. What are you gonna do if he beats you to it, though? I don't know yet. Because you don't want me to have it, so you don't want my help. I have a feeling that the world market is also a little... static. Gee, I wonder why. Looks like we got a new APC to research. Looks like a slight upgrade over the M75. Not really the best upgrade, but I'll take it. The new recon opening up called the Lynx. Yes, one could only wonder. I'll research that, but I don't know if it's any better than anything else I already have in the queue. I'm gonna start building more hydro, because my economy's starting to slack behind a little bit. So I'm just gonna throw money at the situation in the form of hydro. God, this map is very misleading, because this map leads you to believe that you can build hydro in all these places. I don't think hydro can even be built on Oceanic... Yeah, they can't be built on Oceanic complexes anyway, so a lot of these 
spots, you can't actually build any hydro at all. France and the Gold Coast formed an alliance. Okay, that's cool. I'm fine with that. I doubt they're actually going to protect any of these dudes, but an invasion of these by any of them might provoke some sort of retaliation. Well, that goes both ways, of course. I do need to start getting these space race buildings building at some point. Right now wouldn't be a bad time. I could put it next to Washington, D.C., or I could just put it in the center of the country. I'm going to build it around Kansas City. Aerospace engineering, orbital launch pad, and orbital telemetry. You don't need all of them technically, but having one bunch of them just safe in our country would be nice. I'm going to max out my garrisons throughout Panama specifically. Just due to its strategic importance, keep them out of here. More hydro. I'm building 135 hydro. I think I've reached the point of excessive. But I'm just touching the spots that have literally actually no production in comparison to some bigger ones, see? Like, so many red spots, but only one of these can I actually produce anything on. This one's taken up mostly by coal. I don't even need the, that coal production, but I'll deal with that some other time. You know, if I wasn't producing so much, my budget would actually be positive right now. That's impressive. Like without any trade or anything, it would just be straight up positive. But I'm spending like 700 mil on construction every day, so. Oh, we got new submarines and other ships making themselves available. And China declared war on Malaya. I'm gonna condemn okay. that. Well, not quite yet it's not, but if you want to send it, alright. Interesting. I don't like the sound of this. They're whispering something and Shibi just let it get through, I believe. This invasion of Malaysia goes well for him. USSR declared war on Malaya. Yep, saw that coming. Guess I'll condemn that too. You're sneaky. <laughs> oh man. That might be such a pointless war. Yep. He took almost nothing. He landed and took like literally oh, got a little thing. chunk of it. What the fuck? <laughs> How did you do that? Were you at war with them already or? Yeah. I beat you to it. <laughs> I, didn't get no I didn't get a notification. Yeah, I saw it. I was like, well, there you go. Would you mind releasing that? Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! The audacity! Would you mind releasing that, he says. Holy crap. You guys are wild. I don't... <laughs> I will release it if you release India and everything you took. <laughs> nah, I'm good. Well, Narfi, we could always uh, do <laughs> a war where none of us takes Malaysia, but instead the peace treaty involves him releasing Malaya and not retaking it. We could do that, yes. Or you could also just put a bunch of troops down there anyway and take it over. <laughs> I have a bunch of troops there, but... <laughs> uh, I'll be happy you got a little bit of rubber. You moved fast, real fast. The problem is, Wes, I, can afford, I can't afford a war with, against him right now of my relation with the uh, world market. It'll improve. Uh, it'll, it'll get better, no problem. Especially if you can get some... Justification against him. Yeah, it's building up. Although I'm not quite sure where I would invade from. You could use my territory in Malaya. But then I would end up getting part of Malaya. Yeah, but you can release it if you want. True, but we could also try to distract him so he doesn't funnel 2,000 plus Oh my god, you have so many troops off this coast, what the fuck? Yeah, sorry, I thought, about that, yeah, he's gonna see it. But he's sending his troops already back, so he doesn't expect it. I see. Yeah, oh my god, how many are out here? My Iowa just came to say hello, I didn't even send him here, and I'm just seeing this entire mess. I want 150. Jesus Christ. You know, he, yeah, but you know, um, once the fighting starts here, it's gonna turn into an all-out brawl for this corridor. I'm not sure what I would invade, and with what, to really get anything done. Technically, I have no land connections to him. Well, I have lots of units by Malaya now, 
and lots of units in Iran. Yeah, your military bar is larger, and I know you have probably at least a thousand more troops than he does, so... Yeah, I have two thousand units out right now. It's probably his whole fucking military, or almost, roughly. What? A shibi? Yeah, it's probably equal to his entire military if I had to guess. I'm not sure. If I look what I have built up in that short time and what he can build up, then... Yeah, he has more. But you guys are both at a hundred now. And your units produce really quick, and your units are better than his. Yeah, true. What a menace we have wrought. I really did not expect Shibi to be that, that tactical. His, uh, his strategy is completely different this time. It's not diplomacy-based, it's war-based. He did terrible at first, but, uh, other decisions have allowed him to made a, make a, uh, quick recovery. Damn, Narfi, what's going on with all your money, man? Investing. Mm -hmm. For a brighter future. <laughs> One problem I would have helping you is I can't project as much power as you can over there. Because you just connect right fucking to it, you know? You're right there. Yeah. You can just throw your entire military at him. They don't have that capability. <laughs> flashlight Bhutan. Did you say flashlight Bhutan? <laughs> yeah, uh, that's a meme from my streams. I forget, not everybody knows that. Basically, I was streaming Killing Floor, and we were talking about flashlight buttons in video games, and we were talking about the Call of Duty meme, which was like, uh, you know, press F to pay respects, and I was like, what does F even do in this game? And I pressed F, and it was flashlight, so for years now, I've said flashlight instead of F. Oh. <laughs> I have an idea. Um, What's that? One that could allow us a, a second front. Laos. Like, allow me to actually have a front. Because right now my problem is I, I can't have a front. Oh my god, Nepal? Nepal. Right now I can't easily have a front. Um, with the rate mm -hmm. he's going, he's, he's oh, mopping up. Me out on horses, I'm screwed. Oh, wow. What happened? Korea just declared war on him. Korea got sick of his shit. Yo, Nar Nar Narvi, here's your time. You wanna deal some damage? Use Korea. Alright. So, you know, my plan involved actually trying to get him to take Korea, um, but this this works out perfectly. So... <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm sending you some moons to Korea. This is on fastest, by the way, if you want to slow it down to be able to react better. If he takes Korea, I can fight him through Korea, and you can fight him through Malaya and your border. Yeah, that's okay, but I'm still going to support Korea. <laughs> oh yeah, go ahead. Ideally, Korea doesn't fall, right? And then, you know, damage is dealt to him. But, uh, what I'm saying is if Korea falls, that's the way in. You know, I can send a bunch of units to Korea, and then we can both attack. You can go in from Malaya and from your border, and I can go in from Korea. Yeah, that's okay. Eh, I'll take the freebie. You might want to move your units on Pyongyang up to stop him from advancing too quickly. I don't know that all these stats are right now. Probably some of these are from the old war as well, but it doesn't look like it's going too well for Korea, but of course it wouldn't. Well, look who joined the party. Careful not to get cut off, because he's pushing down the center pretty heavy, it looks like. I see you sold some. <laughs> you sold them some units to teleport him. Yeah. Are you sending more of your own units to uh, by sea? Yeah. It's just gonna take him a bit, huh? Oh, you got cut off. Oh, this is so crazy. This is so, so crazy. I'm gonna support Korea's war declaration anyway. I'm fine if they fall, because that means I get something else out of a potential war between them. Right now, I'm already sitting on 58% justification towards him. He has a freebie war declaration, he being Narfi, against Shibi. So... Situation's not too bad. I could also try and take advantage of the situation by going into um, Europe more, going for Albania or something. That's something I don't even need to send troops to do that. This is going way too fast for me. <laughs> I don't even need to send troops over there to actually take it. The stuff in That's Yugoslavia fine. is enough. He's managed to hold Pyongyang, but the North Koreans don't stand a fucking chance at the end of the day. They've collapsed and lost their border. Damn, she be. Damn. I did not ask for this war, it was thrust upon me. You got a war by your own aggression. 
want to declare war as soon as Korea falls then, or...? Maybe. Um, I don't have the justification I need yet. It's almost there. If he got, if he declared like one more war, I'd be there. I'm just, you know, the 70%. I don't even have time to look at it. You should have an unprovoked war declaration that you can utilize after this, for sure. You know? Doesn't look like China's losing a whole lot. The Soviets don't seem to be he losing a whole lot either. stop waiting the game. <laughs> Nine? <laughs> it's gonna be mine. Oh my god. Well, the northeast part of Korea is gonna fall. I'm not breaking it, I'm just, uh... Slightly redirecting forces. There goes the North Korean Air Force getting shot down by my AA. I also don't have troops in place, mind you. I have some troops there, but not enough for an invasion right now. I'd have to move troops. I have 65% now, by the way. Nepal has died. How many more units do we have over here? We have another 100 sitting here in reserve. I don't want to necessarily move what I have in... Japan, because I don't have a lot of reserves in Japan. But I could get some units moving over there. Like, I could start moving everything on the west coast as a start. This is 143 units right here, and I could just send that over to Busan. And that would be a start, but it's not enough, certainly, not to kill thousands of units, and you know they're not killing enough of each other. For my spread out forces to make a difference, China has over 4 million units deployed, what the hell. I'm afraid to sell North Korea anywhere more. He gets all the units too, if they lose. True, yeah. With where they are right now, it might not be smart to sell them more. What you would need is your own units there to push them back, but... Even then, it does look like they're goners, doesn't it? He has just too many yeah, units yeah. and they don't have enough. I'll tell you this though, I am moving troops. Not sufficient to 1v1 him, I'll tell you that much, but surely sufficient should we combine arms. The only problem is that this happened so suddenly that they're going to take a little bit to transport across an ocean. Yeah, I need some time too to possess my troops. You know, the crazy part about all this is those units of his are quantity, they're not quality. But they just completely overwhelm. God, this is so much different than the last war. It was only for like four years ago. Yeah. The sides are literally about to be inversed. <laughs> but the theater of battle will be the same. At the very least, I'll tear up his navy. I don't think he has a lost navy. He'll, he'll have a few hundred ships by now. Probably smaller ones, less useful, but probably still, I'd say maybe 200 at least. He's knocking on the door to Pyongyang. It's pretty much all over for Korea. Make sure you get a lot of units deployed for this. Like, I don't I don't mean like 500. I don't even mean a thousand. You're gonna no, need... I know what you mean. Yeah, you're gonna need like... Probably 2,000 close to the main front alone. And you'd need hundreds I... by Malaya to stop him from taking what you have down there. Of course, if he does, you could just make him remove it as a peace uh, condition. Yeah, I have around 250 units around Malaya when they arrive. And I... Yeah, I have to uh, put, get them out of reserve, but I have enough units in Iran. I'm not yeah. going to attack him by uh, Vladivostok. Oh, you're not attacking him by Vladivostok? Nah, he's expecting that, I think. Uh, he might be. He'd certainly be more prepared. Hmm. Well, if that's how it's gonna go... Yan Yang is holding on for dear life. If that's how it's gonna go, then... What are you gonna do around... Vladivostok. Are you going to keep units there to defend it? Yeah, some defending units. Around 500 of them, I think. Okay. It's going to take him a moment to figure out what's going on, that's for sure. All I can say is good luck. That area's supply is not good. You're going to be pushing into, like, a dead zone of supply. Hey, would you attack by Vladivostok, then? That's where I would attack through. I, I would attack through there. Uh, but I would attack through because Korea and work up not, there. Not good. Oh, oh, I see what you mean. I, I mean, you got an air base right there. You put, like, one supply depot down, and you got amazing supply over there, for sure. Yeah, but it takes another 80 days. <laughs> true, true. Um, still, it's gonna take me some days to get most of my units that are heading over there, over there. And there goes Korea. It's North Korea's own fault. Speed it up, by the way, when you're ready. Howdy, neighbor! Hi. <laughs> Welcome to this here American barbecue. Yeah! Want to try our Korean foods? Oh, uh, we're the best friends, you and I. Huh? 
darn tootin'. <laughs> Yo, he stuffed his entire invasion force in the fucking barracks at Khe Song on my border. They're all over here. I don't know how many yeah, units it is, but they're all over here. This means he has over a hundred uh, production now, by the way, because he took more. Yeah, she, we gotta deactivate some uh, land uh, fabs now. Oh yeah, I know. <laughs> That's not gonna last forever. You guys are going to give up on that. No, no, no. I, I tend to keep on it. You, Chibi? Yeah, I'm gonna keep on it. And when one of you is close to death, you're gonna stop keeping on it. You're gonna be like, fuck this. <laughs> <laughs> because once there's a large enough unit disparity between you two, you know the one that has less units is just not gonna be able to keep up. Yeah, if war is gonna start, it's... Like, he'd need to move some of these units away from Kaesong. Yeah, that's for sure. Otherwise, the front's gonna be too small, no matter how many fucking troops I stuff in yeah, here. where is their fucking military It'll fast. just be, you know, nothing. There'll be nothing happening, really. By the way, when I had 3,000 units uh, deployed, our bar was equal. I don't have 3,000 units deployed, <laughs> so I can tell you that much. No, but she be in mine. Oh. I expect him to have around 3,000 units. Yeah, you would have to get him to move a lot of his units away from this border then. Or like, like I cannot move that many troops over there that quickly or that reasonably even. If you look near Japan, one of your ships can see some of my units coming in. And again, is probably can as well. Yeah, yeah. yeah I'm not going to keep this up money-wise. By the way, Raz, if you attack him first and I after you, Maybe he won't notice that because he won't get an alert. Or does he? Well, he'll get an alert. He'll see it. If I attack him first, you'll probably be on your own because he'll fucking drive me right out of Korea with all these units at Kaesong. I don't know how many you sent. How many he sent? No, you. Not enough to fight his whole fucking military. I don't, I don't have that sitting around. Yeah, but we attack him from four places. I thought you were only attacking from uh, Iran and Malaya. Yeah, I also sent 500 units of Vladivostok. By the way, does it still count uh, after Shang Yang no taking or? I think for this, because what really needs to happen is he just needs to be knocked down a peg. I think we need to just, you know, push on him until we're ready to have a peace treaty and then figure out the peace deal afterwards. Like, take whatever the fuck you want because look at him. Even if you took all of China now, he has all of India, <laughs> you know? And you're just not going to be able to take all of China with how many garrisons he has up. He has more garrisons than you have total troops deployed. <laughs> Iraq had a coup d'etat, but it was silent. Yes, you know how they love to keep switching governments. Indeed. I have a hundred percent against them. I want to attack them. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. Do you think the 67 that. war will kick off between Israel and Egypt? I don't know. Well, not through means of my own, but I say I achieve my military objectives. <laughs> yeah, true. Pretty much have all the units I can send in place. Alright, let, let me get my troops out and then uh, we declare. Sounds good? Yeah, I'm trying to. Utilize some of my other troops real quick to set up a another another front. Not at me, right? <laughs> Not at you. No, no. Literally, like I, I'm, I have nothing to spare. <laughs> Do you want a non-aggression or something? Uh, by the way, uh, during this, yeah. sure, for the time of the war, May and maybe mutual defense so we can help each other. If we need that, we'll pause in the middle. For now, let's just get like the friendship treaties and non-aggression. I don't think I can uh, keep this up financially, by the way. Well, things will definitely change once the war starts, but you could take out debt if you need to. Once your units start dying, you know, I mean, that's pretty much it. Once the units start dying, then uh, you lose a lot of the things you're paying for. True. Canada and Honduras made an alliance, which I don't understand and I don't like, considering I want to actually take Honduras. I wasn't opposing them this whole time, surprisingly. Canada and Honduras. But we'll see how that goes. We're about to do some crazy oh, shit that might just change everything anyway. No, I can't attack Canada. Honduras will kick my ass. <laughs> the goal is not to wipe him, but to take him down a peg from where he is. Yeah, but I'm not gonna hold back right now. I don't blame you.